What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are, well, it doesn't really matter what program we're in, but we're going to use Sony Vegas uh, here for this example, okay, for a video that's a minute and a half long. Uh, this right here, we normally output at about 138 megabytes. All right, this is not too bad, okay, 138 megabytes take uh, on my upload, which is 500 KB, give or take. 720 KB upload speed about 30 45 minutes to upload this to YouTube. However, a video that I did yesterday outputted at over three gigs. I was not about to upload over three gigs of a video to YouTube, it would still be uploading it right now. However, I did some research and I found a program called Handbrake. So let's go ahead and open up Handbrake, and there we go. Handbrake and what Handbrake does is it takes your video and it compresses it really small without you losing the quality. So let's come over here. We're going to click on Source, Open File, and then we're going to come over here. And we're going to choose this very first one right here. Click OK, and it's scanning and getting all of its properties of the file. Then we're going to click on Browse, and then we're going to name this Smaller. Okay, so it's going to be called smaller.mp4. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to come over. Uh, everything is setting up right. It's 1280 by 720. And that's what we want it to be at. We don't want to make any more settings here. Uh, so we're going to come over here to video. And then we're going to change our constant quality from 20 to 30. Okay, then we're going to come down here. Use advanced tab instead. Click that checkbox. Okay, without this being clicked... This is what you get. So clicking this gives you these options. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to Pyramidal B frames. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that word. We're going to choose strict adaptive B frames right here. We're going to choose optimal and then trellis. We're going to choose always. Now just with these three settings and nothing else, we're going to come up here and we're going to choose start. And this is going to take about less than a minute to get this done. Okay, it is finishing up right now. Okay, so with that done, let's go ahead and minimize this. And now, along with all these files, we have this one. And as you can see, it's gone from 138 megabytes, which is right here, to 4.77 megabytes. So we're going to open up two instances of Media Player Classic here. We're going to put this one here. Bring it down. We're going to put this one here. Bring it down. Okay, we're going to come over here. And, I mean, there you go. I mean, you look at the quality between the two and there's not really much difference at all between these two video qualities um so it's a really really great program the link's down in the description it's uh open source if you know how to program and you use that language i'm not really sure it's most likely c something but uh you can jump over yonder it's over at source forge download the open source and you can dive into it and help to make it better. I mean, it's already just excellent. It's an excellent daggone program. So anyway, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net on how to make your video smaller and quicker to upload to YouTube. Y'all have a rocking time now. Bye-bye.